Oi, if you live in Perth, then come to my live show, Bushfire Fundraiser. All proceeds go to the pregnant Sheila that had ScoMo force a handshake on her and the Irwin's Wildlife Warriors charity. The link to get tickets is in the post description below. Let's fucking do it. It's me again with some tips and tricks on how to nail a live music performance. Oh, a spinny guitar right to the face. The singer is pretending it didn't hurt, but I reckon that's going to leave a mark. It makes the show ten times better though. The bass player bloody loves it. Get ready for another spinny guitar move. The drummer's in danger. Nah, it's all good. I think this guy's bandmates had the bass guitar turned right down anyway, so no one is going to miss hearing it. I don't want to brag, but I do know how to shred a great guitar solo. This here is not a great guitar solo. The singer comes out and says, you've ruined my dreams. The bass player is like, just quit, man. It is frustrating when the weakest link in a band has no idea how shit they are and refuses to quit. On tour is not the place to try new experimental directions, even if you're Van Halen. If your name's Lil Wayne, don't play guitar at all. Put the guitar down. I can't tell if he's concentrating or high as shit. Actually, definitely both. Don't play a Jimmy Page style double neck guitar in a Stormtrooper helmet. Don't do it! There's a reason Stormtroopers have shitty aim. You cannot see a fucking thing in that Imperial workwear. Stage diving, here's a few pro tips. Make sure you know where the crowd is before you do it. Once you've found the crowd, make sure they genuinely want to catch you. Oh, don't wear budgie smugglers. Yeah, nah. It was at this moment Shane realised no one wants to touch his balls. And off to the medical tent. Iggy is like, my dick is away. It won't rub you. Come on, catch me. Nah, no one trusts him. His dick is never away. A trampoline is both an excellent idea and a horrible idea when stage diving. Just rehearse your stunts before the show or you'll end up with regrets like Steve Aoli. Stage diving is getting popular amongst rap musicians at the moment, which is handy because everyone in the audience is filming on their phones. So if you fuck it up, you have plenty of angles to choose from when filling out your insurance forms. Always remember the show must go on even if you spew, even if you vomit your guts out, even if you hurl like a motherfucker, do not stop. You pretend it didn't happen and you finish the song. Oh yeah, baby. Oh! And that's the last time anyone ever saw Travis. Oh no, there's Drake. That's handy. Bring your own Drake if you ever fall off stage. BYO Drake. If you're security working at an anthrax gig and a dickhead runs up, try not to tackle lead singer Joey Balladonna. He's an important part of the band and his mates get shitty when you do. Guess they haven't seen him up here on stage for the last 90 minutes. He's in the band. He sounds like a bitch! You're fucking asshole! Take a tip from Tool singer Maynard. If an overeager fan storms the stage, simply body slam him, mount him, and apply a chokehold. Then spend the rest of the set gently riding him while singing loudly at the back of his head. The fan will be cool with it. Soon he'll sing along. Yeah, boom, situation de escalated. Cross out the security fee in your budget. The fan leaves the stage confused but happy. Yeah, nah, yeah, those are my tips to a successful live music performance. Rock out with your cock out, like Iggy Pop, unless you prefer your cock in your pants, which is understandable. <laughs>